hi happy birthday to me look what i've got today i am so excited you're here to share this with me so if you want to see what i got on my birthday fix it's go for it number 14 just stick around Hey, welcome back everyone I'm Nancy thank you so much for joining me I am so excited that you're here to share this birthday unboxing with me I always love to share my mix and match boxes no matter what I get it's always a great box but I love sharing it with you I love hearing your opinions and helping me decide what looks okay on me so if you are my returning subscribers thank you thank you so much it means the world to me to have you share some of your day with me and I truly appreciate your support if you're new to my channel Channel. I hope that you stick around. I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and please any comments are always always welcome. If you are not familiar with mix and match it is a styling service. They have three different boxes that you can get. The first one is called take a chance. I believe that one's like $105 and change. Um, you get two to four items. The minimum value is like $175. The one that I get is the go for it box. This was a, you sign up for a three month subscription at $5 a month for the styling fee, which of course is applied to anything that you purchase. Um, you do have to sign up for a minimum of three months. After that, the $5 a month continues and it is a monthly subscription. Um, you get between like six to eight items sometimes one time i got ten so you just never know what your stylist is going to find at the last minute to throw in your box you have to keep five or more to get a 25 percent discount and of course that uh, styling fee that five dollars is applied to anything that you purchase the last one is called a when you want box it's like a one-time box that you can get um, say if you would just want to get it seasonally or you want to get it twice a year or just uh, every now and then that one's a $25 box and again you're going to get about six to eight items you have to buy five or more to get the 25% and of course that styling fee is the $25 is applied to anything that you purchase so they always package everything so nice and even if it wasn't my birthday today I would feel like it's my birthday when you get a box like this. They must have gotten some new envelopes. And this is my bundle. Isn't that beautiful? They have got the prettiest wrapping paper. It just always puts a smile on your face to see this. And in this you've got a little packing slip, but if I look at that, I'm gonna know what's in my box. So I think I will hold off on that. And inside this envelope, we have our note from my stylist and again my stylist has been Lauren I communicate with her through emails if I see something during the month that I like that I'm hoping that maybe she has if I see something maybe on their mix and match Facebook page or I see another uh, youtuber with a mix and match box and a and I see something that I like it's not always going to be available because sometimes by the time you see it uh, the stock is already gone um, I have a Pinterest board and my stylist Lauren she is super fantastic she's like a wonder woman she has styled me so great and I have loved every box that she's done for me so anyway a quick note she's going to give you a quick note right up here it's just a quick note so it shouldn't take me too long to read it unless I stutter like a fool so it says hi Nancy I think this uh, this is our first style box without a pair of Liverpool jeans. Hmm. You do have a pair of jeans that I think are fun. Just put on a cute black tee and you'll be all set. Other than that, you have tops and dresses. As I was getting this together, we received a delivery and a short sleeve leopard jilly dress arrived. Meant to be? Hmm. I hope you enjoy your weekend with your grandchildren. That's probably silly to say. 
I am going home this weekend to see my our daughters, my sons-in-law, my grandchildren. So I am super excited. I think some of my husband's family is going to be there too this weekend. So excited to be seeing them. Um, and if she's going to just go tell you a little bit more about what's in here. So I won't read that. And maybe why she styled it or picked it for you. And... Uh, when you're ready to check out, you do go online or uh, well, you email your stylist, let her know what you're going to keep and she will send an invoice to you. And so the total of my box is $366. My 25% discount and I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in my box. I do have to keep five or more. I get a 25% discount. But if I kept everything in the box, it would be $91.50 off. So my total would be $274.50. So let me try to get that up. Cases, anything that anybody likes. And I'll try to take a snapshot of it, put it at the end as well. That way you can always freeze frame it and look at it. In it, you're going to get your return bag. They do use UPS, which I appreciate because I can take whatever I don't want or if I need to exchange for a different size, I can just take it to work. We have a UPS pickup just about every day. If we didn't, I've got a UPS store, um, maybe two minutes from the office that I could stop there. Um, I think there's a Walgreens and also a truck stop that has a UPS drop off too. So many, many options for this. And so that's very convenient for me. Alrighty, so let's get into a bundle. My ribbon already came off could go like this and wear it for my birthday and right now I'm wearing one of the dreamer sweaters today it's like a 50 degree day here which would not be too bad but it's been kind of cold damp and rainy and the sweater is just perfect for that loving it I am also loving the items that I see here so I don't even know how they fold it so neatly to get it in there but these are all the colors here. So this looks like a super, super fun box. Alrighty. Oh, this is so soft, this first top. So this is, I think I just dropped my tag. So this is a size small. It's $28. It's a, maybe a My Soli. Looks like a nice sleeveless top for the summer. Nice navy print with some flowers, a nice floral pattern with that little split split right there to show off any fancy necklaces you want to show. And the back's got just a, uh, the yoke at the top's got that material and then a nice plain gray at the back. Very, very, very soft. This is going to go perfect with some blue jeans. Next looks like another top. This is from White Birch size medium it's $28 and it's another sleeveless tank with some pretty crisscross action right up here another pretty blue floral I do not know how they get these so soft so this should go nice maybe with my white jeans and I love navy up against my skin it's not as harsh as black but um, I am just so light that as uh, you probably see my this is probably bouncing the white office and so is my skin i think these are the fam fun jeans she mentioned so these are by cute two unique denim they're 55 dollars it's a size medium and i don't know how these are gonna turn out or how they're gonna look on but they are red jeans with black polka dots so they do look like a very fun pant working pockets in the front working pockets in the back let's do the nancy stretch test shall we oh yeah they stretch so those they look like they should be fun and i did just get some black tees that she mentioned so that i think will, will be pretty cool oh looks like i got another beautiful top this is by fsl and apparel it's a size medium it's 44 dollars another sleeveless top it's a nice navy lace not quite a peplum but it looks like it's got this uh, waist detail and then a little flared 
It does look like it's got a nice lining in it. So again, navy, I think it's just one of those colors that even though a lot of people like uh, don't like the dark colors in the summer, I think navy is beautiful in the summer or fall or summer, winter, spring or fall. Anyway, loving that. I think this, I like this on their uh, Facebook page as well. So that looks very, very beautiful. Alrighty, so we get into, I think, one of the Jilly dresses with the leopard print. So this is, a, it's only $32. I haven't even looked at it yet, but $32. I love it already. And this is a size large. So it looks like a fit and flare type style. A little bit of a V there. Looks like some cap sleeves. Little keyhole in the back. So if this is not too short, I might be wearing this to my granddaughter Tori Pie's dance recital. So excited to try that on. And another, another one. This is also by Jilly. And it is a large, and this one is $46. So again, not a bad price. This is that sweater material she mentioned. So again, it's that leopard print. It's, kind of, it's a little bit darker in person than my monitor is showing. So it's kind of like a, a darker brown in there with the spots. It's short sleeve. It is like a sweater material. Got a little keyhole in the back. Rounded collar. And, and this one is also lined, so it does have black lining underneath. So this one's another possibility. This one looks a little bit longer, so we'll check that out, see how it looks. And looks like another top. This one is a size medium for $40, and it's by Christy and Company. Oh, it's a dress. It's a maxi dress. Alrighty, so it looks like just a slip-on style. So it's got these, this kind of sleeve detail here, but it is just a regular sleeve here. And then this is just some added details. So it's black and white, and then these stripes have blue and some uh, orange, some yellow, some black. Right in there on both sides. It's got the elasticized waist. It's got the little kick pleats right here and then that same border at, at the um, end for the hemline so this does look interesting and just a little scoop neck collar so that looks like it should be a fun dress to try on and last I got a jean jacket so this is by Liverpool and this is one that I think Barbara from BC Cells has. So it's a, uh, and this would, if this fits, this would be my first moto jacket. I have motorcycle jackets, leather, but don't have a moto jacket. So it's got the uh, zipper detail on the sleeve, the zipper, zippered pockets, and it is the high low. So a little bit lower in the back, which is good for maybe when you're wearing some mid rise or low rise jeans. So anyway, that's everything in my box. I am super excited to try this on. So I hope everyone sticks around and stays for the try on. And I will of course have timestamps like I always try to do with my unboxings to get you through the unboxings, the try ons and the recaps to help you kind of fly through. So I'll be right back. All right, so this first item is the FSL, this beautiful lace top. It is fully lined with navy and then the scalloped just shows through on the bottom. This is so stinking cute. I really like this, but as I get closer, my old friend, the bat wing is back. So I don't know if sizing down would get rid of the bat wings. I mean, it would be easy enough even with the lining to maybe tuck it there. But otherwise, unless I have a pretty blue bra underneath, I wouldn't want to wear it without doing something. 
um, I do think I have room. I just don't know if sizing down would make a difference, but this is an absolutely gorgeous top. It is so, so pretty. Um, I just paired it with some white jeans. Don't let my white skin scare you. I know it's probably reflecting. Anyway, it is so stinking cute. So let me know your thoughts on that and I will be right back. All right, so I kept the same white jeans on and now I have on the white birch, the uh, floral crisscross tank. This is in the medium. Beautiful navy with some nice coral flowers. This crisscross detail. A little bit of a high low, not too much. Just cut it on the back, but I, I know I have some racer back sports bras that I can wear with it or a bra that you just crisscross the straps or a bralette over a regular bra. Have the lace sticking out. Why not, right? So, beautiful floral. I think this has a nice fit. I think this will go really nice with the white jeans. So I think this one is a keeper for $28. Let me know your thoughts and I'll be right back. Okay, next I have on this My Soli top. It's a navy floral in the front with some uh, kind of pinky corally flowers. A little bit of gray detail going down the center here. Across the back yoke, we've got that material that's in the front and then a solid gray in the back. There's a little bit of a high-low. You can wear a regular bra with this. I just put it on with some darker jeans to see what else it would go with and I thought maybe you were getting sick of looking at the white jeans. And just some gray heels to uh, sandals to go with the back. This one is a size small, it's $28. I think it might look better with um, maybe a faded, more of a faded denim, but surprisingly none of my faded denims fit. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. And I think I've got the right pants to go and then all the dresses, so I will be right back. All right, ladies, going to need your help on these ones. So these are by Q2. Uh, they are the red skinny skinny jean and medium with some black polka dots. They do look like nice and fun. She said just to pair it with a black tee. I think it is a fun look. I've got two different shoes on it to just try to give a different effect. They do have a pretty nice fit. don't know if maybe are they too loud for me if I get closer I think you can see the polka dots that's a little clingy to my milk and top so anyway let me know your thoughts on these these are only $55 they are a nice fit I just don't know if maybe they're a little too young for me or I'm a little too old for them, so I will be right back. Let me know your thoughts. All right, and we have two items on. We have the black and off-white maxi dress. It's got a little bit of red in it. Got slits up both sides. It is a good length. I just put it on with my shoes, but I could think I could probably wear it with some lower ones and it would be fine. Um, that maxi dress is $40 and I've got it on with the uh, Liverpool white moto jacket and this is $98. don't know if I would wear them together but I'm trying to save some time and squeeze things in I still got a few things to go. So it is a little bit longer in the back. You can zip it up like this. I like it like that, I'm showing a little bit of that underneath. I did roll up the sleeves a little bit, so that's a good comfortable length for me. I do like the way it's, it's a stretchy knit, so it kind of goes in right there, so it kind of helps give you a shape instead of just being a straight jean jacket. And there. So let me know what you think about the jacket. And let's do the dress. So the dress has some interesting details. It's got this 
elasticized waist right here so it does kind of help give you a shape in the front and back it's got these sleeves right here with the details with the different colors in it but then it's open under the arm here nothing shows it's got a little scoop neck if you had a different choker you could wear it with that probably can't see it but I paired it with red Chanel and my red necklace if I had that on a shorter chain it would I think it would look better yeah I think it's a good length for me and it's only $40 I don't mind the elastic waist because it kind of gives me shape because you know I don't always have one and this is a little bit different I don't think I mind it at all and maybe with the uh, kind of vertical the way the stripes kind of go vertical maybe kind of maybe it's slimming or maybe that's my imagination or hoping so anyway um, I've got the uh, two dresses to go and if I can find where my cursor is I should be right back all righty I am back and this is going to be my Tori Pie and her dancing outfit they're doing the McCavity for their first dance so anyway trying to match up with Tori Pie so this is the Jilly dress I believe this one was $32 it's v-neck it's got a keyhole in the back Thought maybe it might be too much for me so if it is um, too much cheetah print for me I do have this blaze actually I got like five blazes and this is the last one that fits me so anyway take that off show you the dress goes right down pretty much to my knees little V not really too low these little sleeves so it's gathered right here under the chest, maybe not exactly under. Little clingy. And back. So let me know what you think about this. I think it looks better with the blazer on me, but looking forward to hearing your thoughts on that. And I've got uh, one dress to go. Four, I could always wear with a white jacket too to break up some of the print. But still be in the print let me know how you think this jacket would work with this all righty now now we'll be back and i have on the last item so i've got on another jilly a leopard dress again this one is in large this one is 46 dollars it's like a sweater material it's lined it's got dust it's sleeveless i don't think i showed you the keyhole in the back on the other one so i don't know if this one will show it or not it's got this little keyhole this one does have a button the other one didn't this one I def definitely is a little bit more conservative it's a longer length you got nothing worried about showing off there Just left the same shoes on. Just a little bit of some gold chains. I do have, and it's not that bad, just a little bit of the, the bat wings here. So maybe just maybe just a half an inch tuck going under the arms to just go up the side, and I think that would get rid of them. Doesn't really give me too much of a shape, but but then I don't really have a shape. So I don't know if adding this belt will help and it took me like three times to find a belt that would work and this one's got black and brown in it it's just a wide one I wish it didn't have all these uh, little studs on it because I got these things sticking up too so this one I think helps gives it gives it a shape a little bit So let me know your thoughts on these I am going to gather everything for a quick recap and I will be right back and I'm back with the recap and looks like this is going to be a long one it takes me a long time to get through eight pieces especially when I'm trying to figure out 
what how would I wear it if, if I did buy it how would I style it what shoes would I put with it what jewelry would I put with it so when I show the clothes I kind of want to show the way I think I would wear them that's not always how it works but that's what I try to do so anyway looking forward to your help again I mean there's a difference for me between uh, clothes that I like and what I want to like and what really looks good on me and what looks presentable what doesn't look presentable of course I probably think a lot about my age and what's age appropriate and then other times I'm like I don't care I want to I want to look young I want to look fun I want to look like I'm having a good time and and then when I buy something like that then I get kind of like hmm should I bought that should I wear that should I not wear it so that's where you come in handy because you are always honest with me and I appreciate your help so this first item is from Jilly and I had two Jilly dresses um, this one's a very silky uh, shiny dress it's, it's polyester spandex it's got this uh, V neckline here it's got the little keyhole in the back it's got these short sleeves it's got a little bit of detail right here not quite an empire waist because it uh, I think it would have to be down lower but um, it went right above my knee so maybe it was too short maybe it was a little too low cut let me know your opinions on that and if putting a blazer on helps make it look a little bit more presentable for me and this was $32 so it is a great price next we have the other Jilly leopard print dress this one is a sweater material um, it was a did have a little bit of the bat wings here not really too bad I don't think it's anything that I couldn't really live with I think um, probably just a half an inch right there is all I would have to do is so like maybe an inch down and a half an inch in and and it would fit this one is fully lined it's a nice stretchy material again it's got little button closure right there and then a little keyhole in the back this one didn't you know went below my knee I think it was a little bit more conservative I don't know if maybe putting a blazer with it would be a little too heavy um, but in the winter time or the fall this would definitely be something you could wear but for right now it's it's not too bad as a as a knit let me know your thoughts on that I didn't think it gave me too much of a shape but maybe the belt wasn't the right belt for it so again this one it's from Jilly and it, this one was $46 so let me know your opinions on that one next and we have this white birch floral top it's got the little crisscross right here in the front it's got some beautiful kind of coral flowers some green leaves a little bit of a high low in the back it does kind of cut in right there so I would either have to wear uh, the bra that's got the crisscross straps or one of my sports bras that has the racer back so either way that would be fine if I wore a regular bra I still haven't found the bralette yet that works with me but if I could find a bralette that just to have that lace right there I think that would that would look fine I mean if you know someone's looking at a 62 year old woman's bra straps in the back I think they're the ones with the issue not me so anyway this uh, was $28 I think it was a really good price I really liked it with the white jeans so I'm leaning towards keeping it let me know your thoughts on that this other top was by may may saloy and again it's another blue this is more like a, a t-shirt like a stretch material like that it does have some more of the coral flowers and some uh light colored flowers some faded blue it's got that v uh around the neckline right here with the uh the gray material the gray binding or whatever along the neckline in the back the yoke's got that same material in the front and then this is a nice soft gray material a little bit of gathered right there to help give it some shape this one was a size small I think it did have a good fit I don't think I had any bat wing issues or anything on this and again this one was $28 so I am leaning towards keeping this um, it would still go with the white pants I think if I had some gray pants I got like three pairs of gray pants that really don't jeans but they really don't fit me anymore but a gray pair would look nice with this too especially where you got the gray in the back next and this dress really surprised me the maxi dress 
I thought it was kind of cute, but I was, I know I saw it on their Facebook page, but I wasn't really crazy about it. I don't even think I clicked a like on it, but it really surprised me. I, I think it looked nice on me. I think it made me look, I think it made me look taller. Yeah, made me look tall. It's, you know, it's kind of, kind of has that kind of vertical feel to it. So it kind of, I think it's slimming. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the waistband here with the elastic, but I think that helped give it some shape because otherwise it, I have no shape. Um, I really like this detail, which I didn't think I would, and then how it's open on the side right there so you could see it. it I had no bat wing issues. I think it was a good fit. I had it on with those, um, the, the wedgies, but it, it was above the wedge, so if I did, I don't have any, but if I had a black pair of flats or a white pair of flats, I think it would go good, and this was only $40. This is a size medium, and... And I really like it. I don't know what the uh, brand is on it. Um, Christie and Company. So Christie and Company. I think this was was good. It had the uh, nice high walking slits on both sides, so it didn't feel confined. It's got that same kind of hem at the bottom with the different colors. So I think this one is a keeper. Let me know your thoughts on that this this cute little blouse this is just so stinking cute i really wanted to love this on me but i think the bat wing issue was just too much on for me this is a size medium it's fsl in apparel and this one was only 44 dollars, so not a bad price i love the the color the navy color i love the lace detail it was lined in the front well in the back and then at the bottom um, is where the lining stops so that you could see that scalloped hem with the uh, the white jeans coming through. Really wanted to like it. Let me know your thoughts on that. If um, I don't know if I would want to play play with this one by myself to either take it under the armpits or make little darts, but maybe the bat wings is because it's too big. So let me know your thoughts if this is something worth sizing down to try to see if that would get rid of that problem for me or if you don't think it's got enough or if you just maybe think this one's too young for me. Again, really pretty color. Um, I think this really would look nice with some white jeans. Next, and these are the cute two jeans. They're a nice bright red. Don't look really bright on camera, but they are a bright red with some black tiny polka dots. I really think they were they were really fun. I felt kind of kind of feisty with them on. Like, okay, let's go, let's go do something fun. Um, just don't know if maybe I'm too old to pull off something as bright colored as this. So let me know your thoughts how it how it looked. I think with with just the black tee was perfect for it. Again, those shoes that I just got just seem to go with everything. Just uh, these were only fifty five dollars, so a great price for jeans. Just I'm just not sure if. I'm too old for them. So let me know your thoughts on those. And last we have the moto jacket, the Liverpool moto jacket. This will be my first moto jacket. Um, it's medium, it's $98. It has got that high low, which I think I would, I, I put it on with a dress, but I think with, uh, with jeans, especially if you have like a lower cut jean and maybe a shorter t-shirt, I think this is where this little dip in the back comes in handy. I don't think it looked bad with the dress. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that if you think I am ready for a moto jacket. So those were the eight pieces in my box. A lot of decisions and I am leaving Friday morning so I have to drop this off at UPS Thursday. So it's about 12.30 now so I am going to try quick to put this together, put some notes at the bottom and get it posted so maybe I can get some, some advice. Um, tomorrow on what I need to do or what you think looks great on me, what you think does not look so great on me. And again, I'm going to put this up um, so that you can see the prices and the line items and the item numbers just in case it's something you want to ask your stylist for. I think Lauren did another amazing job of picking some items for me and I've always, always have so much fun doing these boxes. So again, the uh, total for everything was $366. 25% discount was uh, $91.50. And again, I got that $5 styling fee that comes off. 
So altogether, it's two hundred seventy-four dollars and fifty cents. If I were to keep all eight items, again, I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for watching this uh, with me. I hope those timestamps help you get through it a little bit faster. And we will chat again soon. Alrighty, bye bye everyone. Take care. Until the next time. Bye bye.